For these Olympic snowboarders, hitting the slopes is typically the only way to hit their peak, but these are not normal times. It's really difficult, actually. Uh, it's not the normal the snowboarder's life. You know, we, we always uh, travel with the, a different country and doing a lot of uh, competition. But last season, it's totally off. The pandemic hit, and for safety reasons, the Chinese Olympic snowboarding team couldn't travel abroad for competitions. They worried they'd lose their edge. For us, it's quite tough because we can't get on snow. So before the Olympics, that's not good news, for sure. So the team had to think outside the box. This is the Shanghai Training and Sports Science Center, not of snowboarding, but the Ultimate Fighting Championship, a U.S.-based mixed martial arts company. And this is where Chinese Olympic snowboarders are training when the slopes aren't an option and the seasons don't coincide. Being able to give them that confidence that physically you're perfectly ready, so this wasn't just a waste of time. You know, you're actually progressing yourself and getting towards your goal. And um, yeah, now it's time to convert that strength and that power that we've worked on onto snow. The methods include a tough daily routine of strength training and conditioning, their performances monitored through meticulous measurements to identify strengths and weaknesses, as well as physical data like muscle mass and body fat. For snowboarders Liu Jiayu and Cai Shui Tong, they'll follow individually tailored programs for 10 weeks. When you get to the very, very top echelons of any sport, elite athlete sports, there's such a small difference between best and second best and 10th and best, you know what I mean? They're, it's all very crowded at the top. And, and I think if you ask any governing body around the world, they're gonna say, hey, we wanna get as much advantage as possible, right? We want to understand where we're weak, where we're strong, where we need to work, where we need to improve. And this just gives them an opportunity to do that. The facility spans 8,600 square meters. It opened two years ago. Then a partnership between the UFC and the Chinese Olympic Committee followed initially to train Asian mixed martial artists. But recently, dozens of Chinese Olympians have come through. <coughs> Both Yo and Chai are former world champions and top-ranked competitors, so they know minor setbacks are part of the game, and that if you're really into a sport, you'll keep at it, no matter the circumstances. They have a goal, and they, they know how they're going to achieve that goal. Francis Coe, CGTN.